So we're here with the JLG. We're doing the death header, which is located right here. I got a little ahead of myself, totally forgot. But for starters, you're gonna remove this side panel right here, a bunch of 10 millimeters. They go under the bottom down here, across like that. Then you're gonna remove this back panel, which is right here. Comes across the top right here with Allen bolts. Then you're gonna remove this strap right here goes down through this hole it's a 13 millimeter and you want to start a bucket right here and turn the wheel all the way in that way set your def tank on top of that bucket while you work on the top so you see we got the lines pinched off for the coolant that way you don't get no contamination inside the def tank and then we're going to move on forward right here we're going to pull our these hoses off and then these hoses off and then we're going to remove the def header which is right here i'll show you that when i get to it all right, so we got two hoses unplugged. I'm gonna take you a few minutes to replace all that, huh? These two unplugged, and then we gotta unplug this hose or this wire right here. And then we can start pulling the header out. So let's get it in. So yeah, now we're taking out these bolts right here. They're actually stars, but we'll see if I can get lucky. Now my Allen wrench work. You notice the problem I'm having right now is they're all caked full of death fluid. And it's all crystallized and dried up. So you have to tap on the top of it a little bit, bam, 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 to break it all up. And then uh, we're gonna have to get something in there and start digging it out because I can't get any wrench all the way down in there. So also make sure you have a bucket to catch the antibreeze that's gonna come out. So yeah, we're gonna start cleaning out each one of these little bolts and then get this thing out. All right, so once you get all the, uh, the star bolts out, make sure you wipe away any loose debris around the edge. You don't want that to go in your tank and start contaminating it. Got this little loopy hose right there. And then you're just gonna, kind of like a car fuel pump, <laughs> pop it right out. It's kind of a little tight sometimes with the zip ties on there, but it will come out. There's your death header. Hey bro. And here's your new one. Go ahead and slide it right back in and just reverse the steps. Just make sure you don't forget your new seal and everything on there. Also, while you're at it, these two hoses that go back right here, make sure you replace those as well. Come for new ones. Get those on. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this back in there real quick. And how you can get in out of here so there's that all nice and installed now you can go ahead and get your plug put your little rubber cap out plug and you're just going to reach right here and plug it back in Clip just like that and then it comes with these hoses right here they're pretty simple they're just a snap on snap off kind of deal you do have a plug right here, which you're gonna wanna undo. Uh, trying to keep this hose. 
nose from leaking so much, but it's not being nice to me. So, remember you'll have two little plugs, one here and one here. So, if you look right here, they are different sizes, so it's really hard to mess them up. You can't really do them wrong. So just unplug this, unplug this, and unplug these two. And swap out the lines. I mean, if you want, do them one at a time. That way you don't get confused. I'm gonna go ahead and swap those out real quick. And there it is. Two new hoses installed, new plug, new uh, depth header. So now what you're gonna do is clear out your area down here. And it comes with new bolts, longer ones, I assume. Yeah, not a little bit, but when I took it apart, there was no seal underneath it, which was the cause of everything caking up like it did. So now you just pretty much slide it, spin it, put it right back in, and this points out. You'll see right now, get this cleaned up and get it back in here and get my strap back on it and get the panels on and get out of here. And there you have it. And it's all new header, new hoses, everything is good. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with this panel. And it goes back here. Put the one in the wheel. So we'll put it under the bottom first. Get it around. And then you're gonna put those over your fuel handle and hydraulic. To get it on there. We'll hold it in place for you. Just like that. And then you put your screws in the top, line it all up, get it back together. So I'll do this real quick and show you the next panel. Okay, now that that panel's on and secure, you're gonna take this panel. First things first, you gotta remove the cap, otherwise the panel won't go on. On cap, turn. Ah, things are looking good. And then you wanna feed the cap through. Get the cap through. You're gonna put your hoses tucked in. All that good stuff. And we'll move it into place like that. And put your cap back on to hold it. Put the cap on. Latch it down. That holds it in place. It gives you time to go get all your stuff. Oh, this one. There we go, over like that. And then you put the bolts right here, down here, and then across this side. See how they're both together. Right there. So yeah, I'm gonna get those bolts in and fire this thing up, see if all our bolts are gone. And there it is, all back together. Nice clean. Can't even tell if it's there. Just getting as dirty as But let's fire it so it'll grow up. See, if you remember the last video I posted on JLG with these codes, it was from a uh, death header being bad. So we're hoping this thing will start reading. We're gonna do a couple key cycles. Uh, I did get it out of D-rate the other day, but I think the death header was damaged. So we'll do a couple key cycles real quick. Fire it up. To run for a second let it re-register that it has a new def header hopefully it can see it and cure itself or i'm gonna have to take it out and tow it all the way back into service so i have no service out here
like we're gonna have to tow it out again get the uh, diesel laptop hooked up to it and go in and figure out whether I got to reset the computer and let it know that I just put a new def header in because it probably doesn't it's obviously not registering so we're gonna have to tow it out into service and let the uh, and tell the computer manually that I put a new def header in Deal with that white stuff on the front of my uh, scanner is, but whatever. So I'm hoping this works. If this works, it'll make life a lot easier in the future working on JLTs. to see if I can get it out of D-Rake and clear out the codes and I mean this will be the first time I ever seen the JLG not just correct itself when I did uh, put a new depth header in. So to be honest I'm not even 100 percent sure this thing's gonna last. There might be another issue but all the research I've done is just the depth header being bad. Even speaking with uh, JLG techs they said the same thing I said so here we are, we're gonna try this, and if this works, we'll be good. Getting in there. So, 
clear them out. So we'll check the coolant level right now because one of the codes is the coolant level. I'll walk around and double check. See if uh, that actually cleared them off the dash. Nope, it did not. Oh, they're going away one by one, actually. So we're out of D-Ray. That's another D-Ray code, but it's not D-Ray, so. Let's see if, uh, these other two can shake. That's pretty cool that the uh, Max scanner actually can communicate with the JLG. The more you know. Okay, let's try a key cycle real quick. Let's see if we can shake that last code. So give it up for Mac, dude. That was a really cool thing. I wish I would have known that sooner, but now I guess the future, I can use that because I only towed it out here because I didn't have phone service to use the laptop. So keep in mind, you can use the Mac scanner on JLGs with the comments. So I hope this was helpful for someone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.